Africa has great potential and more than 65% of Africa's people are young. We have even a deeper hunger. We have this yearning for a better world. And because of that, I believe that we have an, we have an honest intention you know, to do better. That's one of the things that we're really learning to do here is to say, no, we must be heard and we, we are the future. And so in a nutshell, that's who I am. I am the future, the African future. An African is known to be his brother's keeper and that's who I am. I'm hoping that with this, I'll go back more equipped to make changes. I hope that I will be the change. It's got to be about us as Africa to take pride in what we do, aspire to be excellent, and when we do that, I think America will be very ready to help us. YALI is about empowering people. It's about bringing people together. It's about saying, let me teach you what you need in order for you to build your future. I believe that this is probably the most fundamental thing that President Obama has done in his term as president. He is giving us what we need for the future, knowledge, skills, abilities, networking, relationships. I am a young woman who wants to conquer the world. I'm a young woman who believes that I can add to the development of my continent and of course my country and my community and my family. For him to listen to us, he'll understand where we're coming from and where we want to go. So it's, um, it's very important. This dialogue between us, I'm, looking, I'm really looking forward to it. He provides him with insight to what Africa's future might look like but also allows him to give some guidance to future leaders. And meeting with us is just saying, I'm giving you guys hope, I believe in you. I am the president of the greatest country in the world and I'm sitting in a room with 500 of you and I'm telling you that I believe in you and who else can tell you that they don't believe in you after that?